If you're watching this video, it's because you are awesome, and you're about to learn something that makes you even more awesome. Okay, today we're going to get a look inside of one of the most popular Mustang transmissions, F-150 transmissions. There is the AOD and the 4R70W. The 4R75W also looks like this. We won't get into a lot of the differences on the cases because I already made a video showing how to tell the difference between the AODs and the 4R70Ws and 4R75Ws in an earlier video. We're going to let you see what comes out of one of these. First thing you're going to take off is the pan, the filter, the valve body, the tail housing, and if it's an AOD, the governor. If it's not an AOD, if it's a 4R70W, or 4R75W, you won't have a governor. Okay, so of course there's lots of different bolts. There's at least two different length uh, valve body bolts alone, and lots of them. There's a lot of linkage. I have a separate video on linkage alone because there's so many linkage differences, and there's so many different things you need to know about how the springs go this way and that. So if you're putting one back together and you're stuck because you can't remember which way a piece of linkage goes or a spring goes, watch that video. It's pretty thorough. Next, you're going to want to take the servos out for the front band and the reverse band because you're going to run into problems if you don't have those out before you proceed. Then comes the pump. Now this is the whole pump assembly. It still has the stator and the intermediate piston and the piston retainer and all that stuff still together. So we're just going to go over the sub-assemblies right now and what the sub-assemblies look like when you pull them all out. In later videos, we're going to go through each sub-assembly one at a time and go over the differences of the different kinds of pumps, the different kinds of drums, all that kind of thing. The stuff you need to know to look out for if you're replacing a drum or a pump so you don't get the wrong one because these are not dummy proof the wrong ones will go in there but they'll ruin your unit next is the reverse input drum like I said there's gonna be a whole nother video about this alone because there's a lot of things you need to know when you take the clutches and stuff out I'll go ahead and give you one of the secrets for this you take the clutches and stuff out you're gonna find a Belleville spring and it usually looks like this Oh, and there will be uh, uh, links, affiliate links to overhaul kit and a couple other things like your 1-2 accumulator, which if it's plastic like this needs to be replaced with an aluminum one. And even the aluminum one, sometimes the spring is broken, and when the spring breaks, it'll chew up the aluminum one. So there'll be a link to one of those. Next, you'll come across the forward drum. Then, I'm sorry, I did skip a couple of things, didn't I? Because when you take the pump out, you will first have your intermediate clutches and your band, and then you'll be able to remove the reverse input drum and then the forward clutch drum and then the forward hub and you'll notice the forward hub right here the hole in the forward hub is smaller than the direct hub which we'll get to in a minute then you're going to have your sun gear and sun shell which you need to carefully look right here where this weld is because it'll crack at the weld and it'll be a tiny crack that you can't see. Sometimes this, this sun shell will be able to spin on the sun gear. And you won't even notice it unless you grab it and really try to move it. Uh, but the car can spin it very easily. So then there is the next sun gear. There's your center support, which is also the inner race for the overrun sprag. Overrun Sprag is here in the Ravenol Planet set, which I already have a video of the several different ones of these and how to identify the different 
planet sets. And of course there's the reverse band, which is applied by this servo here. Then you have the ring gear. And down inside the ring gear here, I know it's hard to see, you see the direct hub. And so I got another drum out here so you can see the drum. This is the direct drum. And the clutch pack in here is the weakest of the entire unit. So there's a lot you need to know about that. And there's here's the output shaft. There are different, several different ones of these as well. Almost everything I showed you here, there are several different ones. But don't panic. I do have quite a few AOD 4R70 and 4R75W parts that I will be going through so that I can be showing you the differences between each individual hard part and what you need to look out for and some of the common failures in these units over the next few videos. So you don't have to search through the whole channel. I will be putting all this stuff in playlists called transmissions. I also may later bust it up into GM transmissions, Ford transmissions, uh, Chrysler transmissions and other transmissions when I get more and more and more transmission videos on there to make it easier and easier for you to find exactly the kind of transmission stuff you need. I hope this information helps you and saves you some trouble. Till the next video, get off the couch and get dirty. Please do all repairs at your own risk. If you don't want to be burnt, bruised, or bleeding and you don't want to screw things up, the only safe way to do your repairs is to just pay somebody else to do it. Welcome to Saint Auto. We're so glad you're here. We don't just do repairs and tool reviews. Bienvenida a Saint Auto. Nosotros no solamente hacemos reparaciones de autos. We also film hot rods and mod rods, and project cars, classic cars, antiques. Nosotros también filmea autos antiguos, mod rods, hot rods, cualquiera. We also like to take you with us to the car shows and the cruise-ins, so make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss anything. Me la gustaría llevarte con nosotros a los cruise-ins y car shows. Entonces, empuja ese botón y toca de campaña para no pierda nada. Thank you for watching our videos. Many of the events, shows, and people that we feature support much needed charities. Bastante de eventos que nosotros filmea soporta caridad. Please take a child or a friend to one of these events and make sure that they're aware of all the good works that the great people of the car community do. Por favor, lleva un niño o un amigo a los eventos para que sepa de buenos trabajos que hace los coordinadores de evento. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego.